We are having a good honey year and for the first time we are going to use an extractor to harvest the honey. Normally we use our flow frames to harvest honey. That is a very convenient way to harvest honey both for the bees and ourselves. We do a check and when the flow frames are at least 95% full and capped the only thing you have to do is put in a tube, insert the key or keys, turn and the honey flows directly into your jar or container. No filtering or further settling of the honey is necessary. We have a short film with a detailed explanation of the workings of harvesting with flow frames for which I will leave a link in the description. Since our two sets of flow frames were already in use on other hives, on this hive we have placed a traditional medium super with wax frames. We borrowed an extractor from a beekeeper friend of ours and prepared everything for the extraction. We start with cutting the caps off from the honey frames on both sides. Some honey drips down while doing that, which is why we have a collecting pan underneath it. Then we put them in the extractor. This extractor holds 8 medium frames at a time, but because we have 9, we do it in two parts, starting with 5 frames. Our beekeeper friend normally straps the extractor to the wall, but we cannot do this in this kitchen, so we keep it steady ourselves while turning the handle. After some time, we turn the frames around and do some more spinning. The empty frames we put back in the super. Time to open the tap. The honey goes through a sieve to filter out the wax that has come off during the extraction. Our pan is full so we take it away and leave it to settle and to roam off the smaller wax particles that come floating to the surface for the next couple of days. A new pan is in place and we repeat the process for the four final honey frames. We tilt the extractor to get all the honey out. We carry it over to the car and we'll return to our beekeeper friend later today. We take out the super fill with the extracted honey frames, which of course still have some honey sticking to them. Putting the super out on the field, not too close to the hives, for the bees to clean out all the honey remains seems an easy and logical way to prepare the frames for storage. After that, putting the super with the clean frames in a freezer for a couple of days makes sure that the possible wax mud eggs are dead before we finally store them. The cut-off wax cappings of the frames are put in a sieve as well to let as much honey drip out of it as possible, which in this case meant another big jar filled with almost a kilogram of honey. All in all, this one 9-frame medium super gave us some 17.4 kilogram of honey. It took a whole lot more time than honey extracting using flow frames, but it was a very enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm.